This is Cal Dodd, the voice of Wolverine from the X-Men. And if you know what's good for you, you'll start watching Bite Size Geek Pub. What's up, nerds? It is time to take a look at this X-Men 97 Wolverine figure. So let's start with the packaging. Really cool artwork on it, some updated uh, looks for the um, X-Men animated series characters from the 90s. You can see you've got all of them right there. Well, all of the figures that have come out so far anyway. And then on the back, it shows all of them again and shows a full body uh, look at the figure itself. That's pretty much all there is to the... Uh, the packaging so uh, let's go ahead and open them up and take a look all right y'all we got him out of package we got his accessories right here he's got an alternate head he's got a mask that can hang off of uh, for this head sculpt right here and he's got two hands that don't have the claws popped out but let's go ahead and start with the figure itself unfortunately I don't get it focused unfortunately it looks like one of my claws is you know, kind of warped a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty easy to fix. Um, and this is my first Wolverine figure that I've had, so I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm sorry, it just keeps getting out of focus. So, as usual, let's start with the head and go down. Um, I really, really, really like this head sculpt. Very animated looking. Um, I Like I said, I don't have a Wolverine figure to compare it to, but I've been told that this is an updated head sculpt, so I think it looks really, really good. The only thing I'm not a fan of are these little spots on his face. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be like stubble or something, but when I see it in person, I don't know, like it honestly kind of reminds me of like liver spots or something. Um, I think if they were going for the stubble look, there should be a little bit more than just a couple of little dots. I mean, it should be little bit more consistent um, across the uh, the face um, and I've I think you can take that off with something I, I think I've heard like rubbing alcohol or something like that I mean if you know let me know in the comments because uh, if, if it can be easily removed I probably will want to take that off but otherwise the face looks really good the eyes look really good the hair looks really really awesome looks just like the uh, the animated series. I'm not going to say cartoon. I'm not going to say cartoon. I'm going to say animated series because Cal Dodd himself, the voice of Wolverine, told me that it is not a cartoon. It is an animated series. So from now on, I will not call it a cartoon. We don't say cartoon. Animated series. Going down from, the, oh, well, articulation. It's pretty good, actually. Got a little exorcist movement there. It's really good articulation right there. Coming down, we got the shoulder pads that kind of move around a little bit, but I'm sure that's to allow for a lot of um, movement in the arms and the, uh, the butterfly joints right here, which are really, really good, by the way. Let's see. Okay, so yeah, if you push it down a little bit, the arms can probably go a little further up. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. I guess that's maybe about as far as they go. I don't know. Doesn't look like they go really much further up unless, well, you can turn them like that and do like that if you'd like, I guess. Do these, yep, these swivel all the way around. That, yep, double jointed elbow right there. Very nice. I also wish that the hair that is molded onto the arm. I really like the hair being on the arm, but I really wish it was um, had some color to it. Now I've seen a lot of people take like the uh, like the Gundam pins or, or whatever they're called. I've never used one before, and they will come in here and just sit there and basically color in all the hairs, and it looks really awesome. Um, let's see, but yeah, the double jointed elbows. Got the hands, I mean, the hands move around. In fact, it feels a little bit loose. Not, I mean, not bad. I mean, the hand will stay in place, but it does feel a little bit loose. The paint on the on this Wolverine in particular looks really good. I love the uh, Tiger Stripe um, outfit for Wolverine. It's probably my favorite because I grew up watching the uh, 
X-Men animated series in the 90s, which is what got me into X-Men to begin with, with Wolverine being my favorite character. The ab crunch right there. So it goes back, forward. Well, let's see, he moves at the waist. The, the belt does move around a little bit because when I first, um, if you go back and look, when I had it in package, the, the buck, like the X part was a little bit over here. I had to adjust that. Then come down here to the legs, which, hold on, let me move his arms up a good bit so I can get to his legs. Let's see, got that kick up like that. Pretty good range of movement. Got the uh, the thigh right there, the double, is that double jointed? Yep, double jointed knees, and I love the fact that he's pinless as well. The boots, uh, let's see, so, Looks like it does move somewhere down in here and the boot actually moves with it, which is really cool. I'm glad they didn't put like the joint, um, you know, like where it cuts through the boot. Um, I like that the boot has stayed in one piece, so that's really cool. But yeah, it, it goes all the way around as well. And then the feet, got the little side to side right there. Moves pretty good. No toe joints or anything, which, I mean, Wolverine doesn't really need toe joints on again. And I really like this. I really like that the, the boots actually have, like, tread on them. You see that? Because normally, I think they're just, like, pretty much flat, and there might be, like, you know, where it's supposed to look like there's tread. But these actually have pretty good tread on them, and it's pretty cool. But, yeah, and the claw hands, like I said, the, the claws... And again, I don't have another Wolverine figure, so I have nothing to compare it to, but the claws on these particular figures usually are very, I mean, you know, they're pretty easy to move around and stuff, so yeah, I imagine it's not uncommon for the claws to get a little warped. And I think with these, like with the older figures, you can just pop these out, and you know, a lot of people, you know, replace the, uh, the claws and stuff, but I don't think I've, I've been, I'm not going to try, but I've been told that these don't pop out. So you can't really replace these unless you were to go in there and like cut them and do all that stuff. But I'm not about to do all that because, like I said, this is the only Wolverine figure I have. Um, but yeah, that looks really cool. So let's let's take a look at the uh, accessories real quick. All right, so we got his alternate head sculpt right here. It's got those same spots on it, which, again, I'm going to have to try to get those off. I do not like those little spots. It does not look like stubble to me at all doesn't look like any kind of beard or anything. But otherwise, the head sculpt looks really, really cool. I really like it. I like how the uh, the black pieces come up really nice, and they're they're pretty they're pretty firm too, so they're not like all flimsy or anything, which is really cool. The only part I don't like, I do like this head sculpt, but I wish they would have included a head sculpt or even made this one to where he's making like a a growling face, like he is very well known to do, like an angry face. This one's pretty stoic, um, so I think it's been kind of weird to put him in like a like a little uh, I don't know like a battle pose, you know, where he's got his claws popped out and he's looking like he's about to pounce on you, but yet you got this just kind of stoic looking face on him. I think that's going to look a little weird, um, and th you know, this face right here actually looks more angry than this one, um, but yeah, otherwise I still like it a lot. And then we got the mask, which actually goes on this head sculpt. And so it looks like his mask is just pulled back a little bit. I'll put it on in just a second so you can take a look. I really like that. So it's going to be cool to see what it looks like with his mask pulled down. And then he has the alternate hands that do not have his claws popped out. Both of them are closed fists as well as these two um, clawed fists. They're, they're all four. Both uh, pairs are closed fists. So, you know, there's not much to them. Um, they look pretty cool. But let's go ahead and see what it looks like with this, uh, with the mask, you know, uh, on this head sculpt right here. So let's pop old Wolverine's head off. Let's see, I think it just sits on like this. Let's see, pop his head back on. And that head popped off pretty easy, so that's really good. Um, so yeah, like right here, looks like he's just got his mask pulled back. Is that the way? Okay, so yeah, I guess it can go back a little bit further because it looks a little weird when it's like that. I suppose it's supposed to sit a little bit further back like that, but 
But yeah, that's really cool. I like that. So let's see what he looks like with um, his other head sculpt. So we got this head sculpt on here. This one feels a lot tighter than that one right there. Yeah, that head sculpt just looks really good. Again, though, I still wish I had an angry looking one. Um, so let's let's do the other hands on here. Let's see, put that one on there and look, it's got a little bit of the, the paint in there. There we go, the regular hands right there. So I will probably display him with this head sculpt um, because he's he's wearing his mask. And obviously I will have his clawed hands um, for display because I mean, he's Wolverine. He's gotta have his claws popped out. And of course, I mean, you can always do it to where only one one hand has claws out and the other one doesn't. So, I mean, it's up to you. Final thoughts. This this and then we're gonna we're gonna take a look at him. Um, maybe try a pose or two on the uh, little um, platform thing that I have. But I really really like this figure. I've been wanting a Wolverine figure since I started collecting, but I didn't want to pay the price. You know, for some of them older ones, I really like the uh, the brown. Uh, brown suit wolverine as well so maybe i can get my hands on that one at some point but yeah i really like this figure a lot he's going to be really really awesome to add to my x-men collection so let's take a look at him on the platform y'all that is it for this video uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this wolverine figure um, be sure to like comment and subscribe if you haven't already uh, it really helps me out with my channel uh, but that is it so thank you for watching and see you next time